Frank Chapman opened his earliest version of North American Birds in 1902. The hall would feature a total of 34 dioramas, and it's estimated that he traveled a total of 90,000 miles with his team of artists and taxidermists to collect those exhibits and visit these specific sites. One of his real concerns and passions was the protection of birds at a time when they were being shot for the millinery trade, and it was referred to as plume hunting. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, hunters could go out into the field in spring and shoot birds such as great egrets, snowy egrets, roseate spoonbills in their fine breeding plumage as they were returning to the nest to feed the young. There are tracks of feathers on the back of the birds that when they're courting they raise these beautiful plumes and it was those that the fashion industry used on women's hats, coats, and scarves. Chapman campaigned to try and protect the last few remaining what we refer to as rookeries. Probably his most famous early diorama was of Pelican Island, a little island in Florida that was known to be a sanctuary for herons and egrets and brown pelicans. Frank Chapman visited Pelican Island in 1898. His intent was to recreate that site back here at the museum to tell the story of the disappearance of the birds due to the fact that they were being slaughtered for plumes. He completed the exhibit in 1902 and of course being a close associate and friend of Theodore Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt visited the museum and Chapman introduced him to the diorama and urged Roosevelt to set aside Pelican Island as a sanctuary for these water birds. In 1903, Theodore Roosevelt responded by preserving the site, and in so doing that, he creates the very first federal bird reservation, which becomes the first in the series of national wildlife refuges, which are today administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Chapman was successful through his efforts using the museum here as his soapbox in urging for laws to prevent people from shooting these birds. So many of the scenes that you see here, this one being a great example as well, this site now lies within one of the largest national parks in all of North America, Everglades National Park.